I've gone through bouts in my life uh, with sports. I didn't used to like them when I was a kid. Well, I liked them when I was really little, but then I wasn't very good because I didn't like hitting people and I didn't like getting hit, so I didn't really pursue it. And I got into entertainment and acting and competition started to bring me down. I didn't like that people were against each other for money for in like a, a sport, you know? Like, what? why are we trying to hurt? Why are we trying to, to downplay the other person? Why? Well, I try to ruin them. Like, I would find myself like happy when a guy would get hurt on the other team because I was rooting for my team. Like, yeah, hurt them all. Then I grew up, and I started looking at things a lot different. And uh, I don't know if you watched the NBA Finals, but I'm from Ohio. I'm from Cuyahoga Falls, which is right outside of Akron. Me and Bron are like LeBron James are from the same. Not the same hometown. He's from Akron. I'm from Cuyahoga Falls. So we're like 30 minutes away from each other growing up. My brother played basketball with Maverick Carter. Um, Max, my brother Max, who's LeBron's business manager and good friend. So, like, we were all a team, a unit, you know. I never met Brom when I was a kid, but I don't know if it's the vibration or if I'm just tricking myself into thinking there's something special about being from the same place as someone else. I started watching the games in the finals this year. But I don't watch him like I used to. I used to watch the guy with the ball. And I'd always be watching the guy with the ball. And my team always, Cleveland always fell short. But this time I decided to look at the whole field. I'm getting emotional thinking about it. So just watch the field and just listen to these guys. And, uh, you see the whole team. You see the swarming defense. I wouldn't watch the guy with the ball. I'd watch the Cavs like these guys. Just the way the five of them move on the field. And and they just... And, and they pick up. They swarmed like never before. I can't tell for sure if it had something to do with me watching it. You know, I know collective consciousness is real. And we're feeding. Our perception is feeding and changing reality. And then I watch them on the offensive side. And rather than watch the guy with the ball, I'd watch the whole team. I'd just keep it all kind of in this vague peripheral. I'd have this, like, open, wide-open view of the court, and I'd see everybody moving around as, like, a five-person unit. So I, I, I was just, like, watching everyone, and I guess I guess just having faith or just believing that it could happen. I definitely think that there's things that are way more important in the world than sports and entertainment. But those things are very important. Com competition, physical activity, working together, bonding, those are important human things. And a lot of athletes and entertainers do great things in addition to their their sports and movies. That was my coffee. It's just ready. It's 5.30 in the morning, and I'm writing a blog about the summer solstice, which is today. Apparently, it's the first time in 70 years that we have a strawberry moon like a full moon at the same time as the solstice. So check it out. It's at 6.34 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight. Let's look at the same moon and get the same energy and unify through light.